My weekly sketch is 20 minutes long, so I'm going to set a timer for that so that way I know exactly when to stop and I don't keep fussing too much over the details. I start by figuring out what the largest part of my drawing is, and that's the body of this elephant. So I figure out about what shape it is and where it is on the page, and then all the other shapes and parts I map out from there, so that way I know that it all will fit on the page and it probably won't run off the edges. I have a smaller oval for the head, and I give the line of the trunk because it's kind of a, a weird long section. I'll get that mapped out later. The ear is kind of like a tilted triangle. And then each of these legs are fairly rectangular with kind of a rounded bit at the end. This one here that's bent, I'm going to use two ovals overlapping where that joint is to help me get a clear idea of where that leg needs to go. Then putting in about where the back legs are. And once that's taken care of, then I can start with my details and figuring out where the exact lines are. So this only took about a minute or two to get the basic idea of it on the paper. So that way I can really utilize that as a guide while I'm drawing. Now I need to pick a place on the image from where I'm going to start adding the rest of the details and fleshing everything out. I've decided to start with the top of the elephant's head, but really you can start anywhere. The trick that I like to use is I'm looking at the image I'm drawing, and as my eye moves and traces over the lines on the image, my hand does the same thing. So if my eye is going down and to the left, my pencil goes down and to the left. I try not to look too much at my paper at this point, and really I'm concentrating more on the image itself, so that way I can pay attention to where those lines turn and curve and intersect with one another. It's also very important to make sure that you're moving around the image and not staying too much in one spot. The issue with that is that you'll end up fixating on one or two little things, erasing and redrawing them over and over again, and then you'll end up with a mostly unfinished drawing. The point of the weekly sketches is to have something finished, not necessarily perfect. So it's okay if it's a little bit rough or not an exact photocopy of the image that you're drawing. When I'm pretty satisfied with how my drawing has turned out, I go ahead and erase the stray marks from the first part where I was mapping everything out and work on getting all the little details in. This is a great time to add in some hatching for texture, some shading, and other just little details and nitpicky things whenever you have just a little bit of time at the end. This way, it's okay if the timer runs up and you weren't quite, quite done, but you have pretty much everything in that you need.